In this lesson, I will show you how to use the Sublime Prefixer plugin, which is a plugin created by Will Bond that is based on a tool I built that will take all of your CSS and automatically apply the necessary CSS3 prefixes. So let's just copy this. You can do it at the website, prefixer.com, and now you can see, notice that it adds on all of those prefixes so that you don't have to remember it. But you don't want to be copying and pasting all of the time. So let's close out of this and do it from directly within Prefixer. I'm going to paste that sample code and let's get rid of the variables section. We're not going to worry about that. All right, so I'm going to save this and I want to use Prefixer in my editor. So we need to install it. Shift Command P, install Prefixer. And now we have Prefixer support. Easy as that. But how do we use it? Well, let's see. I could select some text, go to Edit, Prefixer, or notice that the shortcut is Control-Command-X on the Mac. But now I want you to note that that runs it through the Prefixer service and automatically updates all of that. And as you can see, it does a lot because a lot is needed. For background gradients, you gotta have WebKit, Mozilla, Opera, Microsoft, and you can go to caniuse.com to see all the ones that are necessary. Let's backtrack by hitting Command Z and let's see what it does for keyframes. Control Command X runs it through the service and now it automatically sets the necessary keyframes. And it even knows, for example, in Mozilla, it doesn't like double quotes around it. Even though it's part of the spec, it doesn't seem to work well, at least the last time I checked. Or you can select the entire style sheet and run the whole thing through. Now, quick note, a lot of people will try to run a single property through like that but that's not the way it works. Now what you can do though is you don't have to select a property as long as the cursor is within the property, Will Bond set it up so that it knows to just grab that property. So run it and that will update that entire section. And it's really quite simple. So now when you're coding, just use the official form. Transition, we'll do everything over the course of one second. And then you can run it through Prefixer and it'll figure out all of those prefixes so that you don't have to worry about that. Hit Control Command X and now it's updated us. Very cool.